Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. Today I'm gonna to do a deep dive in how to set up your Unify Protect to do license plate detection. You might think that if you just go out and buy the latest, greatest Unify cameras, the ones that start with AI, that you'll automatically be able to do license plate detections. And while that is true, you will be able to do the license plate detections with all those cameras. The effectiveness of how you're gonna be able to do that is really gonna vary. In the practical world, not all cameras and all setups are created equal. Now, I live in Florida where we only have rear license plates. So that's one drawback for our state because obviously cars that are coming towards us, we won't see their license plates. Also, the size of your installation, like are you doing it on a big property? Are you doing it on a really small property? All these things you have to take into consideration. If you have a really wide field of view and you have a small car in it, it will not detect the license plates all the time. So what I wanna do in this video is kinda of show you my two or three tips and tricks to make this work for you 100% of the time so that if you wanna do license plate detections, that you're getting the majority of the license plates detected and that they're accurate. So with all that being said, let's jump onto the computer and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. So first of all, I'm gonna jump in the Unify Design Center and I've dropped in the parcel map of our property here just to give you an overhead view of my particular setup. And you would wanna do this for wherever you're gonna put them as well. Basically what I'm looking at here is, okay, we have the parking lot with all the parking spaces here and I've got three more parking spaces in the back. And so you can see where we have existing cameras already on the building. So basically what I'm looking for here, especially in Florida, is where am I guaranteed to get somebody's rear license plate? There are a couple spots in here that I think would be best, but like some people park along this, this stretch of grass here, you'll see when we go to the cameras. Uh, also, some people will just come park straight here and then back out. For me, what I ultimately think is the best spot is right here facing this direction. So what I and have done and we're gonna test out is I would take this camera that was traditionally facing towards the center of the parking lot and I would face it right towards here. And the idea is that everybody has to leave this parking lot and show the, the rear of their car right here. And that's what I'm looking at getting. You can also see here, this is the scale here. You know, this distance was 50 feet and you can see here by the ruler that pretty much uh, coincides with that. So we basically have 50 feet to here. At this point, I've done a couple things. I put the cameras in both locations. I put the AI Pro here and an AI Bullet here. I wanted to see how each one would do in this situation. This location does not actually see this exact spot. It's a little bit off to this way because there's a little soffit right here. But anyways, this one is facing right at it and I've put both cameras in both locations just to kind of see what we're testing. So that's the, uh, a basic overview of it. And let's jump into the cameras and you can see what I mean there. So this is the one in the location that I mentioned there on the front of the building. And pretty much all uh, cars go right through there at that path. And then this is the bullet. And you can see what I mean there by the soffit there. It's blocked from going in that direction. You can see here it's doing all these detections. There are no license plates in view here but you'd see that everything's a sedan or a truck or an SUV. Let's jump into the detections real quick and we'll go back over some history of some uh, detections happening and, and, and what that looks like. So now that I'm in detections, this is a really cool new little search tool they put over here and under advanced, I can click show license plate detections and then I can choose my devices. So I'm gonna choose the Pro and the Bullet because those are the two that we're testing here. The basic kind of premise behind this test was I wanted to see to myself, do I need to get the Pro do I need to get the bullet in my situation? And kind of work out which would be right for me. So I had the bullet up in that location for a day. This is the location, is, and the AI Pro is in this location now. And you can see this is a pretty good view of the area, but you'll see the only t plate detection that it's got here is this one of Andrew and Andrew's leaving right now. It gets his quite easily, but he was already primed in this location, backed into it. So a little bit of cheating. These other uh, detections that it got are the FedEx truck going by. It never really saw that. And what it's calling that license plate is quite hilarious. If you see what it thinks the license plate is, it thinks it's T0 UTC. That's the ground. It's, it's seeing the FedEx ground and it's assuming that that ground is a license plate and it's guessing there, which isn't very good. Um, and so I left that uh, on that location for about, I would say 24 hours. And the only two detections that it got that were any good were the one of Andrew and the one of a car going from the back and to the front. So it grabbed that one and did a pretty good job of that one. But all of these other ones are false positive. This is great, this is a great one. Uh, this is my friend AJ that came over and he drives a Toyota 
and it thought its license plate was Toyota and the 07. Obviously, false positive. So, uh, my review of that is that that is not the right location for that. So, you can see I moved the location of the camera overnight. And uh, so I have the, the Pro out front and I have this one on the side. And you can see in this location, it did a pretty nice job. The garbage truck goes by, grabs it, P12. Oh, it missed it a little bit, but it was pretty close. And you know what? The, the fact of the matter is that it got that. I could come back in here and kind of double proof it. In its defense, this is a garbage truck and it's pretty doggone dirty. But I would give that up. A, a mild success, not a roaring success, but a decent success. And then uh, same car yesterday that it detected, leaving again, caught it, no problem. If you zoom in, that is correct on that one. But I would give the bullet kind of a B minus probably. It is a good camera and it does do detections. But if you try and give it a big area to cover at distance, it didn't do that good of a job. Then I bring it over to the Pro. So like I, I flip flop the Pro overnight and you can see the Pro is now in that, that front location. And it is pretty much grabbing everything. But you say, Clay, that doesn't look like the field of view of a pro. And that is the cheat code. So I started earlier today with it in wide mode. So here it is, at, it's wide. Um, and at its width here, it really struggled with getting license plates. Mm, it's making a guess at that, at that UPS truck, but not doing a very good job of it. That's not accurate. And like it's seeing the life south uh, go by, they are across the street and it is guesstimating that that is a license tag and it's it's something that looks like life south just guessing it was probably a little bit better than the bullet but not much so what i did was i went into the ai pro itself and this is really the power of an ai pro and the versatility that it gives you in this situation where i am now zoomed in about 50 percent so you can see here, I'm about halfway in. Uh, I didn't go any further than that because when I tested it out at 50%, now when I go back to my detections here, you'll see that I am pretty much picking up every car that goes by. And um, when I say pretty much picking up every car that goes by, I am picking up every car that goes by and it's identifying them pretty easily and pretty quickly. I found that for me, the sweet spot for this location, if I really wanted to see the license tag of everybody that came and left my parking lot, that this is the settings that I would need. This is the camera that I would need to use. The bullet just wasn't getting it done. Unfortunately for me, this is about 11 feet off the ground and in a location where this is about as close as I can get to this spot and make it work. You can see it's grabbing that next uh, Mercedes as it leaves as well. I don't have an option to, to mount this on this light pole or I can't get over to here without, you know, some major expense and trouble of trying to do that. So for me, having the reach of the AI Pro was is worth the investment in this location if license plate detection is really what I wanted to do. One more thing though, and this is pretty interesting. You know, I did the all cameras compared video last month. Check it out in the details down below or just search my channel. But let's go back to the AI Thetas. And what's hilarious about the AI Thetas, you wouldn't think that the Pro and the Tele would be able to do this better than, than the bullet, but look, this is a, across the way there and it's just nabbing that. Um, now it's a little hit or miss. It didn't get it every time. It didn't get every license plate. Like in this one, there's a couple license plate. It only got one of them. But I would say, and it, maybe it's not a complete one-to-one -one comparison because this is a, a little bit off kilter from where uh, the AI bullet was, but I think this AI Theta Tele did a better job than the AI bullet did because I was zoomed in on the area. So take that for what you what it will. And you know, I mean, more cameras will come out over time, but if you are looking to do license plate detection, I recommend that you do a camera that has a little bit of tele uh, capacity in it and that you are funneling everything into one specific small area. If you try to do it on a wide format camera, you're not gonna like the results. And so uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, these cameras and the license plate detections are really amazing now. Um, uh, one other thing there in the, the detections is once you have a detection, I'm gonna turn off these filters, but once you have license plate detections, what's really cool is if I just wanted to see every day that this car went by, I can just search it in there. So once you have it, you can just keep searching by it which is really cool. 
They also added more features here in the search where you can search by type. You can even search by audio, car horn, siren, a uh, license plate detected. This is really cool. Uh, colors, I mean, I mean, how cool is that? I can just go black here and it's just gonna detect black vehicles. Pretty cool. Honestly, the beauty of this and I think where people are gonna want to use this is something happened way back when, they don't know when it happened. They wanna go back and review the footage these search functions and the ability to have intelligence built into the search functions are going to save you a ton of time and ultimately probably get you to some footage that you would never find anyways. You know, I have a really big uh, NVR here. We're recording multiple, multiple months. So if somebody wanted to know what time something happened three months ago or, hey, something somebody got uh, broken into next door, they think it was a white car and they think, uh, you know, it did yada, yada, yada. I can go in and I can search based off of that stuff. This stuff is super powerful and I'm really excited that uh, Ubiquity has put these search features in here because it makes it super functional. Once I have a license plate detection, I can go in there and go, this is BSG. I can just search BSG and it's going to show me every time that BSG went by. Pretty cool stuff. So just a quick summary. Number one, I would kind of figure out where your filter point is, where you think you're going to get the detections done. I would then measure the distance there. And then I would choose the camera based on that distance. If it's 20 feet, you're probably going to be fine with an AI bullet. If it's 40 feet, 50 feet, I think the, the tele uh, ability of the AI Pro is probably going to be your go-to there. Ultimately, I think this is a great technology. I think this is really a game changer for Ubiquity. I'm glad to see that they included it. I'll put links for everything that we have here in the description down below. I'm also going to leave these cameras up permanently in their locations. So if there's something else you want us to test, I certainly uh, just drop a question down below and I'd, uh, I'll be sure to answer you in the comments. If you found this video of value, please like and subscribe. We're making content like this every week and we'll see you guys in the next video.